So I'm here at Tractor Supply. If y'all watched my last fishing video where I actually caught fish, I said that was the last time in the blue kayak, except for if Dominic comes with me. I finally did it. I pulled the trigger. The kayak I wanted was on sale. Here it is. It's the uh, Tioga Angler 10 SQT Moss. So yeah, the next scenes will be me fishing out of this bad boy. All right, I got the new kayak all set up and ready to go. A lot more room in it. Got some stuff strapped down back here. I got plenty of room in the front now. Got the little rod holder set up. It is hot though, and the water level is low. I only got 50 crickets from the bait stand over in Port Barry. And uh, I'll be honest with you, don't even look like 50 crickets. I think they might have shorted me a little bit. Got to looking at it just now, I was like, hmm. But it's towards the end of the season as far as brim goes here in South Louisiana. Um, I'm going to see if I can get on some. If I do, maybe I'll make a second trip tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, if not, this might be the last brim trip of the year. And be soon flipping for bass for that fall bass time, you know. But man, the water is low. We ain't had rain in forever, but uh, let's launch this thing and let's see how it rides. The brand new kayak. It paddles pretty smoothly. It uh, it glides in the water nicely, I should say, compared to my old blue one. And that blue one worked. It just wasn't open, so it was so you couldn't like move around in it that good. This thing is so much more open, and uh. Like I said, it seems to glide better in the water, too. Take it. Shit. Pretty good. Gotcha. All right, first fish in the yak. Very first fish in the new kayak. Not much of a fish, but it's a fish. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> he took it as soon as it hit. Not monsters, but they there. About the same sauce. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a better one. There we go. Oh, that's the little one. Oh, I can finally bait my, uh, okay, I can use that one for a bait from my rig up. Gotcha. Another little one. I got enough bait. This little guy is going to be bait for this rod and reel. I'm going to set it on this thing and see if I can get me a shoe pick or something. That'd be pretty cool. That pull the kayak around. Now, if a shoe pick runs with it. It'd be pretty cool. Let's get a let's get a cold drink. I knew I had something. Not a garfish. 
He ain't even hooked. He's wrapped around this thing. <laughs> I set the hook. Turns out I just wrapped him up, I think. <laughs> oh, he come off. Oh, he broke my weights off. That no good son of a gun. Had him for a while. Slacking with my camera. I keep forgetting to turn it on. I set the hook on that garfish. I didn't have it on. I had to hurry up and turn it on. I really didn't want to keep that, so kind of glad it came off. But I'd like that I got more of it on camera. All right, so I put that other brim back out. He's a little bit bigger, but who knows? Bigger bait, bigger fish, maybe. I'm gonna go in the boat. Let's see what got going on here. Ah, oh, shit. God dog it. Broke the line. Something good was on it. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I hit that tree. I must try to set the hook too hard. This line that's on here is old. Mm. Not the right idea though. Little brim, catch some big fish in here. They all they hitting it. I got. I might have enough weight to set it up one more time if I catch another small one. Gotcha. That one might actually be worth it. Shit. Let's see. Give me a fight at least. What oh, I got? There's a decent one. I'll have to try right there again. He gave me a fight at least. Yep. Oh, yeah. I might have finally found a hole with some keepers. Eh, uh, he ain't much, but he'll be it. How am I missing these fish? Gotta be little. Stolen got a whole big though. Alright, so I've got the bait caster rigged up with a brim on it. Let's see if we can get us a gore or shoe pick. Done lost two of them already, so they, they in this motherfucker. In fact, I might hold on to it for a second and just see. Put it in here for now, I guess. Oh, oh, getting bites over there, so I guess I'll keep casting over there. Looking at my other pole. It's probably having two poles out at the same time. I wanna get tore up from the floor up. I wanna pour it through the break it down. I wanna pour it till my check level light comes on. I wanna get tore up from the floor up. Tight. Let's see. Ugh. 
what I got. Oh, I think he wrapped me around a stick. It ain't a fish. Yeah. Yeah, damn fish got me wrapped up around a stick. Well, I got excited. I thought I had me something for a second. Well, that is worth trying in the future, though. I'm sorry, y'all. Probably giving y'all motion sickness. Spit on that. Let's see. Can I get this off of there? Let's see. Oh, there's the there's the stick. I can I can feel it down there. Oh yeah, that that little bastard. Went all up in there, that stick. All right. Uh, he popped me off. All right, that's, that's it for uh, trying to catch gores and, and shoot picks. Maybe next time. Let's try to catch a couple more brim. Catching all kinds of bait now. Oh, that would have been a perfect one for bait. God, I'm not re-rigging again, though. That, I put that fish right out the water. <laughs> ah, he ain't much, but that was fun. Bait. Oh, he swallowed that thing good, him. Oh, old, old gar fish is going to bite you good. Well, I don't know. I got the hook out pretty good. Where are you going, Cricket? <sighs> going to get towed up from the float up. Huh. Got another one. All right. A lot of these size. But tell me wrong, if you're starving, you could eat that. Hey! If you was hungry enough, you could eat that. But I got fish in the freezer. That going back in the water. Go get bigger fish. Go get bigger. Hey, I guess I'll, I'll sit here and catch small ones until I don't got no more crickets left. The heck with it. Might as well. It's Friday. I ain't got shells to do but drink some bears at the house. Oh, oh. Are you going to take it? You sure look like you wanted it. This time of year, I guess, too. It's uh, it's about the end. You really don't get too good a brim in South Louisiana. Or at least, I should say, in my neck of the woods. After mid-August, it kind of slows down a lot, lot, lot. Honestly, the best months are April and May. It's when I do my, my best catching. But this year, it was late. Uh, uh, and in Henderson, I've had some late catches before as well. Um, I've caught in Henderson all the way up to like end of July before. But it's so low, I haven't even went. And honestly, I just wanted to come try this new kayak out. So that's why I came today. Kind of knowing that it would probably be a little slow. And that it'd probably be my last brim trip. But, it don't mean I can't come try to catch some bass or shit. I've seen how them uh, shoe pick and gar were biting. I, uh, I can come try to catch some of those one day too. I, I will miss them. Oh, that one's probably a keeper. Wow. Didn't expect that. And eh, he ain't the best, but he's bigger than the ones I've been catching lately, <laughs> tonight. <sighs> Caught him in the bottom lip. Look at that. 